Okay, we have covered the project overview report in the last video. So for this video, we're going to drill down into a period and understand it much better. And so for this example, I'm going to look at period two. Now we can see from the pop-up here that there were both delays and recovery from progress and no delays or recovery from revisions. So to go to this period in detail, I can either click here or I can go up to period two and click here. Doesn't matter, it gets you to the same view. So here we are in the period detail report. And I can see a lot of information just in, in this view. So first, let me explain what we're looking at. In this table, you have numbers and you have icons. For the numbers, you want to look up because those are corresponding to these columns. For the icons, those are mapped to a timeline over that period. So numbers look up, icons look down. That's basically what you need to know. So in this table, which really represents what you would come up with when you did a delay analysis on this period, you've got two groups of columns. The first columns up to about this point represent the causes, meaning what actually happened that caused delays or recovery. And the last four columns here, those represent the effects, the impact on the finish date. So for instance, looking at post demolition signage, uh, we can see that there was an early, that it started early, <clears throat> that it had one day, one working day, that's what WD is, of progress. Uh, it was it did start out of sequence as the early start indicated and it also had an early finish those were the causes the net impact of that was one day of recovery meaning this activity in this period caused a one day one calendar day recovery to the finish date so the icons were are showing you that it was Tuesday, August 30th, uh, that it began. And the double, uh, double lines here represent out of sequence progress. And the blue less than symbol represents an early finish. Now, how do I know that? Everything you need is down here. The entire legend is, is down here. Okay. So, uh, post demolition signage gave us one day of recovery. Uh, demolition mobilization gave us 12 days of delay, meaning it pushed the finish date 12 days. But one of those days, it was sharing the delay with another delay. And that's where the icons can tell us if I look, I'm looking for icons that are on the same day. And I can see one day, Friday, the week of September 11th, that both demolition mobilization and cut cap existing utilities were delaying. And so that's probably why in the shared column, you have one day of delay, one day of shared delay. Demolition mobilization, though, delayed 12 days in this period. And that's what these chevrons are representing. Uh, and you can see that there are 12 of these chevrons on 12 days. But some of them are gray and some of them are red. So what is the difference? Gray is non-impactful and red is impactful. And what we mean by impactful means it moved the finish date. So for instance, on Tuesday of the week of August 28th, this activity delayed but it had some positive float. It did not move the finish date. Same thing happened on Friday. Saturday and Sunday were non-working days. Monday it delayed, and it probably used up all its float because Tuesday it continued to delay, but now it was delaying the finish date. And so you can see that over the next weekend, non-working time, on Monday it was not critical and so even though it delayed it didn't move the finish date and then you can see delay delay uh, and then uh, 
regular progress. That's what the that single dashed line means. And then a delay and then an early finish. And we can verify the early finish in this column right here. And so that's what these icons are telling you is as we did the delay analysis, we did do it not only day by day, hour by hour, but actually minute by minute. And we recorded what was happening and we're showing you those results in this view. Now, if you don't know what any column means, you can just hover over it and we give you help. And so uh, OOS progress, for instance, OOS prog stands for out of sequence progress. You just hover over anything and any column header and we'll tell you what it is. You can also see that there's a bottom part of this uh, graph as well. And and what this is doing is it this is showing you what was happening to the finish date over time. And so sure enough, you know, it looks like there were no delays on any of these days. Uh, in fact, our finish date, because of this early finish, it recovered a day. And it wasn't until demolition mobilization started delaying that we see the impact to the finish date. Now, what do these lines mean here? We see three of them. What they mean is that on this day, the longest path changed. And then it changed again on the next day. Uh, and then it didn't change for about a week and a half and it changed a third time. So that's what these lines are telling you is when the longest path changed. So this detail period is really showing you the progress half of the half step. So everything from here uh, down to here is it's all about what we detected as we applied the progress related changes. But there were also uh, revision revisions as well in this period. And what we're seeing is that there was one, but it had no impact. And I'll go into the revision part of it in a future video. So to get to any period report, you just click on that period over here on the left hand side and that's how you can navigate forward and back.